Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Apocalypse by Sigurds After Sex. Now, the song is really easy. I'll show you guys the riff and all which just goes throughout the whole song. And uh, for the song, you don't need a capo. It's in the standard tuning. So be ready with the guitar and let's get started. So firstly, I want to show you guys the chord shapes uh, which we'll be using for the whole song. I'll be playing the main riff just to make it as accurate as possible. I'll be using the original chords which are used in the song so those might be bad i really can't help it but i'll try my level best to keep it as beginner friendly as possible so let's have a look at the easy chord shapes we got f major one three three two one one now this is a bar chord what you can do is you can hit with your thumb and then you can play it like this which makes it pretty much a lot more easier uh, we got d minor mute open second third first a minor mute open second second first open then we got a C major, and we'll try to open first open. Then we have a B flat. For this chord shape, I got the top string made it. It's first fret on A, and I got third fret on D, G, B. And first fret on the high E string as well. So these are some of the chord shapes which we'll be using for the whole song. I'll show you guys the other chord shapes which we have later, part, later in the song. So, starting off with the intro, uh, I have this set of chords. So first thing which I want you guys to do is use your index and bar the 5th fret of D, G, B, E. Once you're done with that, put your middle finger on 6th fret of B string, your ring finger on D string 7th fret. Now I'll simply pluck E, B, G, D. Again, E, B, G, D. Once I'm done with that, I'll put my pinky on the seventh fret of the G string while still holding that same chord shape. So now it's a complete D minor from the D minor seven. So we got on down E B G D. Same thing. Now I want you guys to lift off your pinky as well as your middle finger and play the same thing twice and twice, which is four times in total. So we got. So it was simply an A minor chord. So all put together, then it sounds like this. The verse is pretty much the same thing. You can play the RPG or you can just from the easy chords. We got F, D minor, A minor, C. One dance stroke is more than enough. So that's the verse. Now I'll move on to the chorus. The chorus has this chord progression. It's a B flat, then an F, then again a B flat, then a D minor. Then back to B flat, then C, then F, and then C. Every chord has a one bar uh, gap distance. So this will play the chord for a bar. That's it, again, one day and stroke is more than enough. But what happens in the latter part of the song is we don't just play and strum the chords like this. So with how the chorus is supposed to sound like. Now what happens is we just RPG the chord. So again, I'm playing the same chord shapes. I'm just arpeggiating it in other voicing. So look at the tab, having a B flat major chord. I got six fret on E and B, seven fret on G, eight fret on D. I'll play E, B, G, D, E, B, G, D. I go to F, which will be this shape. I'll show you guys. I'm going E, B, G, D. So it's five, six, five, seven. The first shape, the very first shape. Back to B flat, then D minor. So it will be, Five, six, seven, seven. Then again, B flat, and then we have A minor, and back to F, and just continue. So what happens is this is not happening for the first chorus. The first chorus is rather just one dance stroke following the chord progression. On for onwards, second chorus, I'll say we have this thing. So let's play it together. Sorry. Now 
Now what happens is we actually play the F major like this. It might be a bit tricky that why am I RPGing the D minor 7 chord when I'm supposed to play the F major. Don't have to think about it. Same goes for the A minor chord. When I'm playing the A minor chord, uh, like I'm supposed to play the C major chord. That's how the song is designed to. Uh, so just feel free, don't, no need to worry and play like that. Chorus done, verse 2. Chorus 2 will be that same thing, just RPG the chord. Moving on to the bridge, which is again uh, sort of like this. G minor 7 chord all the way up over here. So what I have is a D minor 7 chord but all the way up over here. Same shape. Bar the 10th fret, 11th fret on B, D12. So I'll strum the chord once. Mm, your lips, my lips, apocalypse. I'll go back to F major 7. 8 on A, D10, G9, B10. Strum the chord. Back to G minor. And back to F major. And then I have that riff starting up. I'll RPG the B flat chord. E, B, G, D. E, B, G, D. I'll go to G minor. Oh, it's over here. I got 5th fret on D. 3rd frets on G, B, E. It's like that A minor chord a whole step down. So E, B, G, D. E, B, G, D. Then F, which is a D minor 7 shape. And then a D minor. Back to G minor. Twice. Then C major which will be the A minor voicing and keep on doing that until you move on to the next verse. So this is what we got. And verse 3. Verse 3 will be the same chord progression, no changes. You can strum the chords or you can just RPG it. Chorus 3 will be again same. Uh, after that, we have uh, the chorus and all, and it just goes to the outro, which is a little bit different. We have F, then D minor, then A minor, and A minor. So it's basically that intro thing which I'll just RPG it for the outro. So the introduction and the outro are seen. Very easy. That's the whole song guys. I hope the video helped you out. If you have any doubt regarding any of the parts of the song, please let me know. And for more easy and accurate lessons like this, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.